We had just gotten our meal, and in walks this lady and man, and the uh, lady had the snake around her neck first. Mm -hmm. And it started to slither off of her neck down into the booth behind her. And she was pulling it. And I just started trembling and we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. <laughs> they say the woman handed it across the table to the man when Lisa snapped this picture and immediately expressed her concern to their server. The manager came over to us and said it was his service animal and so we have to allow him to stay. So that's when my mom and I and the girls decided that we would not stay. El Puente's manager says he allowed the snake to stay because of the man's claim, but Lisa doubted it and approached the man before she left. He said, no, it's my service animal and I'm allowed to have it because it helps me with my depression. So I said, well, I'm very sorry about that, but a snake in a restaurant probably is not the best thing. And he said, well, it's no different than having a dog service animal sitting here. And I said, well, a little bit it is. The ADA, Americans with Disabilities Act, um, in 2011 defined service animals as a dog only. So if somebody says they have a service monkey, a service cat, or a service snake, um, ADA only defines it as dogs. Finney says the snake posed a concern for public safety, and had they been called, mix of police or animal control would have responded. Management just didn't know what to do because they didn't want to violate anybody's rights, um, and that's understandable, but the patron could have then called 911. Um, it doesn't have to be the restaurant that, that does that. 